Hello and welcome back to How To TV video and our new series on Linux. We're going to have our second uh, topic regarding on sudo command in our Linux crash course. So without uh, any delay, uh, we're going to start. Let's go. I'm here right now with my terminal. Uh, I already access my my users from my Ubuntu instances. So if you're going to update our system without the sudo, it will uh, prompt us uh, permission denied because we don't have authority to to access this command. Uh, if you're going to switch to users. Okay, uh, to, to root and going to update, it will give us the result. Uh, it will allow us to to execute the up update. Why? Because it's the root users. So how about if uh, if our users is not root? So for for us to uh, to to use this update up uh, apt update or uh, whatever command uh, we're going to use the sudo okay so if you're going to use the sudo again we need to ex exit again and type a sudo and apt update okay because ubuntu is already a sudo verse uh, he can update the system okay uh, for us to install uh, another repository and with the sudo uh, command and install for example tmox it will allow us to install okay but of course the tmox is already in our system already so it's it's uh, it results here that we already uh, have a few books. Okay, so for example, if our, our new users uh, uh, or new employees uh, join in our uh, in our team, and we want to be, and we want, and, and we want the the users to to manipulate uh, our our servers. You give us a permissions in order for us that the new users to be uh, in the sudoers uh, the command we need to do is first uh, we need to check first if the, su the, the sudo is, is of course we already know that the sudo is visible already in our system because I already uh, use several times the sudo if we're, if we're going to check if the sudo is install the command that we need to to type here is to type the switch which and sudo and type the sudo and it will give us the the bi binary of the sudo that we can execute the sudo command okay uh, for us to uh, access again with our uh, new users we need to add our new users to sudoers we're going to have uh, another users for have up an example so I'll switch back to root okay and I will add a users okay I will add the users I will name it uh, N and of course I already create mbubale already in our, uh, in our in our system we're going to add him to the sudoers how we're we going to do that so we're going to do that by using user mode again uh, you can check my first uh, uh, Linux crash course on user mode and add a parameter a which is add to the group which is the sudoers 
who are we going to add to the sudoers group the mwleo okay okay and he's in the sudoers so uh, for us uh, we will go uh, the the effect of the sudoers of our new users we need to exit to this uh, system okay for example I'm going to control D and then control D okay I'm going again to access my system my instances from AWS and of course uh, I am in an Ubuntu I'm still in Ubuntu I will going to switch to MWLEO okay I'm in a uh, account of user. I uh, mean, I'm, I'm in the account of MWLEO right now. If you're going to update the system, okay, with the use of users MWLEO because MWLEO right now is a sudoers. Type my ta password. And he can do also uh, what the root or the Ubuntu default users in our system. Okay, you can also check if we can uh, update, uh, up install, like for example, uh, Terraform or Ansible. Okay, yes, yes. And he will install. He will allow us to install. Okay. So that's the the power of uh, if you add your users to a sudoers, and it will allow us to be uh, to protect also our system with the intruders. We're not using all the time the root. Okay. We need to add our users to the to the sudoers okay so we need to wait for this one and we will uh, proceed to the the for the process so we already install uh, our our applic our repository by using only our users our new users for mw right now if you're going to check I'm going to exit again my Ubuntu and then if we're going to check who is uh, what's the sudoers all about you can check it in Etsy and sudoers okay uh, he told us that the sudoers is only for read so it's very dangerous for us to guys to to edit this because if you're going to edit this this uh, file, you should uh, you should uh, see to it that you know what you are doing on this file, or else uh, you will never uh, access your system if you're going to mess up this uh, this this file. So if you notice, the root has a privilege of all all. Same goes with all with the sudo group. Okay. If you can add us uh, a specific users to allow the allow uh, all the 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 group and the command, uh, you can do, you can you can limit that uh, by using by editing editing here. Again, uh, my rule of thumb here that you need to uh, to know this 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 thing if you are going to edit this okay uh, this is the sudoers but we cannot inst uh, edit this by by only uh, open in our editor but there's a proper way that we can we can uh, we can add modify that uh, sudoers uh, files by using sudoers b uh, Sudo, okay, and here you can 
edit it here okay so this is the the tips that we can uh, edit our pseudo words okay so right now uh, we already tackle uh, the introductions of pseudo words and I hope that this this tutorial is uh, very helpful to you guys but I know that pseudo words can can be a a, a long uh, tutorial if you're going to uh, dig into this topic but again uh, this is the the introductions of pseudo words and I hope that I will uh, see you in the next video